Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the major difference between XPath expressions and CSS selectors? Let me answer. Since only one major difference they are asking, so the answer is XPath expressions are powerful when compared to CSS selectors. Okay, this is the major difference. When compared to CSS selectors, XPath expressions are powerful. Why? Why XPath expressions are powerful than CSS selectors? Why? Because in XPath expressions, we have a concept known as XPath axis, using which we can traverse forward and backward. I'm going to practically demonstrate this, how to use XPath axis in XPath expressions to traverse forward and backward. Whereas in CSS selectors, we can only traverse forward. Okay. We can only traverse forward, but we cannot traverse backward. Hence, XPath expressions can locate most of the elements, okay, that CSS selectors, whatever the elements that CSS selectors cannot locate, that can be located with the help of XPath expressions because XPath expressions are powerful when compared to CSS selectors because of this XPath axis using which we can traverse backward and forward, okay, both, whereas CSS selectors only forward, okay. So <clears throat> there are a few more things. Earlier, earlier, we used to say uh, like uh, CSS selectors uh, are, you know, uh, in high priority when compared to XPath expressions. Okay, whenever you get a chance to locate a particular element, you prefer to choose CSS selectors over the XPath expressions earlier. Why? Because earlier we have a browser known as IE browser, which is now deprecated by Microsoft and Microsoft is uh, company is encouraging everyone to move to Edge browser now instead of IE browser. So IE, in IE browser, the Selenium script seems to fail because some XPath expressions were not considered properly by the browser engine of IE. Okay, that was the problem. But CSS selectors, who used to work with very well in IE browser. But now, nowadays, this IE browser is now deprecated and discontinued by Microsoft. Hence, there is no need to worry, okay, right? So you can either pick XPath expression or CS selectors, both at the same priority level, no need to worry much. But I prefer XPath expression because they are more powerful when compared to CS selectors, okay? The speed wise, uh, very slight, slight speed is there. It's not a um, main thing, okay? Speed is not a main thing. Even XPath expressions are faster. CSS selectors are a bit faster. Okay. So let me explain whatever I covered here. So first thing is XPath expressions are coming to the XPath expressions. They are powerful because we have a concept known as access, XPath access concept using which we can traverse forward and backward. Whereas CSS selectors, CSS selectors, when compared to XPath expressions, they are less powerful. Why? Because here we don't have XPath access concept. You can only traverse forward. Okay. We can only traverse forward. Okay. Fine. Now, next thing. Next thing is, the next thing is uh, here, earlier, earlier, XPath expressions were not, uh, now also, whatever it is, IE browser was, IE browser engine, engine doesn't support XPath expressions well. Okay. IE browser engine doesn't support XPath expressions well. That means the scripts used to fail. Not all XPath expressions, some XPath expressions, uh, uh, they used to fail the scripts. Okay. Because IE browser, in, uh, remaining all browser engines good, but IE browser engine was not supporting the XPath expressions well. But here, CSS selectors supported well. Okay. Supported well. But now the things got changed. That is, IE browser itself got deprecated. IE got deprecated, right? IE browser got deprecated. Discontinued by Microsoft. So no need to worry about this step, right? Whether it supports or doesn't support, doubles, doesn't matter. Okay. This, this difference was the older one, but now I, uh, uh, Microsoft company is asking everyone to use Edge browser. So there is no need to compare this difference or something. Okay. But you should have the idea why earlier CS selectors were used over XPath were given the priority over the XPath. But now why the XPath and CS selectors are, are having the same priority, okay? That you have to understand. Coming to the speed, their CS selectors are a bit faster. Small amount, okay? These are also faster, but they are a bit faster. So just because of this line, you cannot take CS selectors as a priority and all. So consider the power, uh, power powerfulness and all. I generally prefer uh, going with XPath expression, okay? In my application when I automate, okay? I straightforwardly go for uh, XPath, okay? in terms of priority when compared to CS selectors because they are powerful and they can traverse forward and backward. Okay, whereas CS selectors only forward. Let me practically show you how to traverse backward and forward and how CS selectors can traverse forward only forward 
I'm going to show you. For that, I'll open one application URL. Omai.blogspot.com. And in this application URL, uh, or I'll I'll go to another web page here, Compendium Dev page, which I, which is very simple. Just two paragraphs are there. Right click inspect. So now this is HTML code, and here I'll say Control F and uh, create uh, you know some export expressions or whatever it is. Now with the help of HTML, I would like to locate head. I would like to traverse down. So how to do that? Double slash HTML. Double slash HTML. Slash. Okay. Slash child colon colon head. You see, with the help of this XPath access, I can locate the head. Now, with the help of head, I'm locating head. With the help of head, I would like to locate HTML. Slash. What is that? Parent colon colon HTML. You see, I can traverse backward also. From head, I went back. Okay. This is what is called as traversing backward and forward, and I have used XPath access, simple XPath access uh, to demonstrate that. What about in CSS selectors? In CSS selectors, HTML. Okay. Uh, greater than head plus body. You see, we can traverse backward. There is no, no minor symbol to traverse from body to head. Okay, that is not there. From head to body, you can. From head, plus means in CS selectors, plus means you are traversing forward with body. Okay. HTML greater than head plus body, like this. You can traverse forward, but you cannot uh, traverse backward. Okay. So that is what is CS selectors. So the main difference uh, or major difference between XPath expressions and CS selectors are XPath expressions are powerful when compared to CSS selectors. That's the major difference. Apart from nothing is there. Okay. So remaining all are minor. Okay. Minor differences. I have practically demonstrated also this for you. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.